how's it going everybody welcome back to a brand new video now in today's video we're going to be doing something very interesting and it's going to be super duper challenging super duper challenging we're going to be seeing if it's possible to drift with an open differential now i've chosen this thing because this thing packs a bunch of power it's heavy so i think we need all the weight we can get and power on our side because this is going to be a very difficult challenge now of course i'm going to hop into the vehicle config just to show you guys that there is an open diff we go down a rear suspension scroll down rear differential open diff so without further ado let's take this thing for a little bit of a stroll oh there's some one wheel peel let's take it for a little bit of a stroll and kind of see how it handles let's get up to some high speeds okay so she loses traction oh oh okay guys we may have found our solution to this video oh my gosh i can't start drifting yet next corner okay we're gonna just do it on this corner we're just gonna send it okay three two one they're locking what Okay, there's the one wheel peel. Guys, they both locked up. That's, I mean, nice on my part. Probably sad on your guys's. You guys want to see this freaking struggle. As I think if we can get this car sideways enough, just both the rear end locks up. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Handbrake. Handbrake is your friend when you're uh, drifting open diff. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Wait, can we do a full entire uh, lap around this circle thing with an open diff? Come on. No way. Guys, it's drifting. It's possible. Guys, it is possible to drift with an open diff. It's just extremely difficult. <laughs> that's, the, that's the case here is it's really, really difficult. Okay. And let's exit through here. Stay sideways. Come on. Nope. Stay sideways. We did go on the grass a little bit, but that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Woo! This thing just wants to freaking. See, oh, the one wheel peel. Come on. Come on. Get us sideways. And guys, fortunately, there is more to this map. Last time we were on this map, I had no clue that I was a thing. So let's take a little stroll to the other version of this. Guys, lo and behold, it looks very similar, but this is a different, uh, different track. So. It's got this fun little part to it. Oh my gosh, that was actually kind of clean, I'm not going to lie. Hard handbrake, hard handbrake. Keep the momentum going, keep the momentum going. In the grass a little bit, I don't care, I don't care. Keep it going. No! We're still peeling. Handbrake, come on. Launch to the side, let's go. No! No! Guys, I over-rotated the freaking car. Come on. Swing it. Guys, like I said, weight is on our side. Oh, what is this little back thing here? I honestly think the higher the uh, gear, the more open to space it has. So it's, uh, that made absolutely no sense, but it made sense in my head. So 360, 360 entry, there we go. The video isn't over yet, but can you drift open diff? I think yes, I think it's possible. Um, definitely would suggest an LSD limited slip diff or a welded diff but it is very much possible to drift with an open diff you just got to get this thing sideways enough and can we do a 360 entry whoa, whoa it bends guys i think we have ourselves a challenge here we have to drift all the way around this and then up as well this seems very impossible we already just about over rotated Oh, don't over rotate. <laughs> this is, guys, this is so ridiculous. What is this? Is this like sheer ice? Good news though, we are getting power to all wheels, or just the rear, not all. And lose all power when we hit, yep. Lose all power when we hit cement. But, anyways, guys, you have seen it here first. You have seen that this thing is very, very capable of drifting. It's just if you're going to drift all-wheel drive, you have to uh, get a very powerful car or else it will probably be impossible. Let's get this exact same car. Here we have this exact same car and do absolutely nothing to it except for put an angle kit on it and let's see how it compares. Let's see. Can this version still drift? Oh man. Oh man. 
Okay. Okay, this is... This is not good. I think this might be even a first. A first gear. Oh, over rev risk. Oh, this thing doesn't have... You're right, I forgot that I put a rev limiter in this thing. Okay, a little bit of sideways action. This thing kind of actually feels like a boat. There we go. There we go. Damn, the, the amount of power we got in this thing. This is, uh, this is... This looks, uh, this looks great, guys. This looks, uh, very do- Oh, wait, 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 hold on. No way. Wait, why was that actually kind of clean? Oh, other than it straightening out, that's fine. And guys, before we end today's video, this is a bonus part of the video, okay? This is not related to the actual video. I just want to show you guys this. If we scroll down, homemade backyard cart. And then you click on this bad boy. This is in the repository, so anyone can get this. Um, you go V10 manual. I just want to show you guys how ridiculous this goddamn thing is. What the? What the? Fuck? What the hell? What the hell? Guys, I am sorry. I know this has nothing to do with drifting uh, or the uh, video topic. I just had to show. You. I had to show you guys this. It's too funny not to show you. Okay, one more, one more high speed, one more high speed, and it's so sensitive this steering wheel. One more high speed, a little test here, and then we'll end it off. You guys can click off if you're not interested in this as well. This is, this is towards the end of the video. I just want to get one high speed thing. Where's a straight road here? Right here. And holy! Anyways, everybody, that is gonna conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're wondering if it's possible to drift with an open diff, I hope this helped answer your question. If you want to drift with an open diff, you have to put a lot of money into power and have a very powerful car. So at that point, you might as well just get a welded diff or a limited slip. So is it worth it? No. Can you do it? Yes. But anyways, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we're going to start doing the comment of the day again. So if you want to see your comment in the next video, possibly, go comment something nice down below or some fun fact. I don't know, something about dolphins. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.